Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Challenge is a series where me and the boys get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! under certain circumstances. Whether it's the best decks versus the worst decks or building a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck under a particular budget, every single Duel Challenge is extremely fun and this one will be no different. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Challenge, I will be playing a $100 deck! <laughs> My friends, why are we doing this? What is with this store? Oh, a $100 deck. <laughs> I just thought of one. Before we get into this video, I just want to give a special thanks to everyone that has supported us on Patreon. You guys, you the boss man. Not only will you guys be able to see Dual Challenge at least one day early, it'll be ad free. Of course, if you still want to support, then watch this video all the way to the end. It is exciting and share this video with a friend. Without further ado, I won't waste any more of your time. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Challenge Episode 8. <laughs> So it's came to my attention that this is really Dual Challenge Episode 8, and last week's Dual Challenge is Episode 7, though I called it 8. So um, that's your fault for not being able to count. <laughs> I'm completely... Let's just get to the games. Oh man, Cali messed up. He gave me $1,000 to build a deck. We doing it. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not that expensive right now. But, but... I can bling out some cards. That way I get some extra effects because we all know the higher the rarity, the better the effect it has. Right? Right? Have I been lied to? Today I'm gonna be choosing Punk Cashteria as I've been playing this deck for um, um, most of this year. Punk Cashteria has some great interaction with a lot of strategies and I'm excited to be playing this because it's such a fun deck that you get to just make a lot of monsters for free. The Punk strategy pays a lot of life points to be able to activate their effects, and the lower my life points get, the stronger my strategy gets. Now that I've built my deck, and I got all these high rarities, Kelly's not winning. Not at all. He's going back to one of these realms. I don't know which one today. Building a budget Yu-Gi-Oh deck with $100? <laughs> PJ legitimately doesn't know what realm he's in because I just made a video about building a budget deck with $30. I get 70 more than that? <laughs> Easy. Today I'm gonna be building one of my favorite decks from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds in Black Wings. Now Black Wings is a ridiculously powerful Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. It's a lot better than what some people give it credit. Its synchro capabilities are almost matched by none, but it also has access to some of the most powerful XE cards to be able to stop a lot of decks in the card game. My particular Black Wing deck that you guys are seeing here is really close to the final build of what I would play. It just goes to show how strong Black Wing is, even under a budget. To be honest, I think even with $1,000, TJ doesn't stand a chance. Black Wings are that strong of a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, but you're gonna have to find out, aren't you? Top Deck TJ, it is another amazing Friday, so you know what that means. It is another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Challenge! And I'm challenging you to lose again. What? Why do you keep doing that? You won last week, but this week, I will have my revenge. And if you guys don't want to be like Cali, go to thecalieffect.com and get these mats so that way you can have the best gear and not lose. <laughs> Bro, he said if you don't want to be like me. What? You, you always lose. <laughs> Is it Cali never wins now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, we do have some new amazing mats that we're going to be using for this dual challenge, the Clash of the Gods and the Straight Out of Combo. But we also have Ravenwing 2.0 sleeves still available. Go ahead and cop them while you can. I got to say that my high roller dice roller streak is finally over, unfortunately. It's like three weeks. Hey man, look, that's way more dice rolls than I'm used to winning, okay? All right. <laughs> you get to decide on what we're gonna do, as in I'm gonna go ahead and go first, that's right? That's not how that works. All right, well, can we get a let's duel on three? We can get a let's duel on three. All right, one, two, three, let's, let's duel. duel! This hand is so cracked, I can do full combo and so much more. Callie lets me build this board uninterrupted. Woo, 
Zooey Mama. My opening hand. Oh my God, this is pretty good. Unfortunately, I did not draw a board breaker Yu-Gi-Oh card. Hopefully that is going to be my sixth card, but this is gonna be extremely solid regardless whatever TJ makes. And if things go correctly, TJ won't know what hit him. He'll be flocking to that L he's gonna receive. <laughs> All right, and since I control no monsters, I'm gonna start out with Castier Fenrir. Castier Fenrir can also search another Castier monster from my deck to my hand on the main phase. So, I'm gonna search another Fenrir. So is that like where your budget went? A thousand dollars and you, you built Castier? Like, I mean- S Slightly, because okay. I also got first ed ulti emergency teleports, which you can't stop because they're ulti, but it'll special summon a level three psychic monster from my deck to my side of the field in the form of Punk Z Amon. So I got a question, like, because it's a higher rarity, it does come with that second effect? Yes. I didn't know that. I, yeah, yeah. It, I, don't, I don't see it on the card effects. So. Well, you just have to know. Oh, okay. It's fair. like the anime. That's fair. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Fair. I'm also gonna activate Punk Ick Jam Extreme Sessions because you know we jamming out here while I activate my Zeomans effect to pay my 600 life points to search a Punk monster from my deck to my hand. Wait, hold on, you're actually playing Punk Cash Tira? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's gonna be I really mean, exciting. I'm kinda on the mat. You I mean, know, like, you're not wrong, but like a thousand dollars? Yeah, I mean, it's really easy. You know, if you just get all of the high rarity spells, you get hand traps, you, you get the CRs. That, that's fair, that makes sense. That's that really, sense. really, really easy. Mm -hmm. But the easy part about this play is that I also get to draw twice per turn with Extreme Sessions. Due to activating Zeomon's effect, I get to draw for the first time. Okay. Extreme Sessions is one of the best cards in the punk strategy because it not only allows you to draw twice, but you get a free summon from it. Extreme Sessions allows you to not only see your hand traps, but the immense amount of word breakers cause the amount of times that you get to draw. This deck also searches so much that you're guaranteed to see the cards that you need and never have an issue. I am then going to normal summon the Sherakuza that I just searched from my deck to my hand and then activate its effect to fusion summon with cards either on the field or my hand to fusion summon a punk monster in the form of rising carp. I remember back in my day, we could only fuse using this powerful spell card called polymerization. Nowadays, every monster has a fusion summon. Tier elements, punk, this, that. When can we go back to the good old days? Never, Boomer. I'm also gonna go ahead and continue to synchro summon into <laughs> Baron the Floor, which I'm sure you're not used to in your Boomer days. You know, you was talking about polymerization. You didn't really get to synchro summoning then. I'm just, I'm just saying, back in my days, we had so many great things, like Breaker the Magical Warrior. It destroyed a spell and trap card on the field and could be 1900 attack. I'm gonna go ahead and use the effect of Rising Carp to tribute and special summon two level, non-level eight punk monsters from my deck and ignore what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and special summon Deer Note and Madam Spider. Now you may have realized I did not draw off the Sherakuza. That's because I wanted to activate the Madam Spider okay. and search my trap and not draw the trap. Oh. Madam Spider is one of the best cards for the strategy because it allows you to see Dangerous Gabu and Nashawari Surprise, which allow you to play into your opponent's board so easily. Nashawari Warrior Surprise allows you to destroy a card that is set on the field, but if you control a punk monster, you can also destroy a face-up card. Dangerous Gabu allows you to negate the effects of one monster on the field, and if you control a punk, it's mandatory that you gain the attacker's life points. Okay, well, I remember back in the days, okay, I'll start with the back. I mean, we didn't, bro, I did not have to shuffle your deck this many times, like ever. Ever. Like, seriously, dog, what are we doing here? I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I am then going to go ahead and continue to Synchro Summon into Punk Jam Dragon Drive, which okay. will be Chain Link 1. It'll pay 600 life points to search a level 3 psychic monster from my deck. Deer Note will be Chain Link 2 to target and special summon the Sherry Kuzai from my graveyard. Okay. So you're going to be able to get a search? And a summon. If I remember correctly, Shirakusai has another effect during my turn. It does. Oh. So it will allow me to synchro summon into a punk synchro monster on your turn. And Jam Dragon Drive will search the Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. That is crazy. It Wait, is Jam Dragon Drive can search hand traps? Just a level three psychic monster. You're a liar. I wish You're... I was. Oh, I can search hand traps. Well, this card's busted. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Ghost Ogre's a level two though, right? It is level three. Ah, okay, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> and then I am going to pretty much end my turn by setting a card and passing. This end board is the most amazing end board I could have made. I have a Barone, I have a Ghost Ogre, I have a Punk Trap, but most importantly, I have Sherry What does that mean for me? 
I get to synchro summon on my opponent's turn into Amazing Dragon, and I get to return up to the amount of level three psychic monsters in my graveyard back to their hand. TJ's inboard is ridiculous. My guys, I gotta play through one, two, three, four, five. Six. I gotta play through that many disruptions and he can return my entire board. Fortunately enough, I think that this hand comes well equipped to be able to play around this board. And if I play my cards right, TJ is gonna be for reckoning. Okay, so just going over this board, you have nothing to stop me. I'm gonna go ahead and draw for a turn, my guy. I am used to the boomer days, because back in my days, synchro summoning was prime. And I'm actually going to be taking a blast from the past, playing one of the most powerful decks from the synchro era. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my spell card in Cosmic Cyclone at the cost of a thousand life points. I can target one spell or trap card on the field and banish it. I will target your face down. So you're playing Burn. No, I am. This is my mystical space typhoon, because back in my day, that was a critical juncture for your deck, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Next, I am going to go ahead and activate one of the most powerful cards in the entire Yu-Gi-Oh card game. I am going to activate Black Whirlwind, my friend. I'm not giving you a second battle phase, Paglia. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you really have to know to know about our... One of our good friends yes. going second at Worlds yes. with Black Wings Getting in it. his infamous second battle phase. Yes. But I'm then going to follow up with a second Black Whirlwind, though. May not get the second battle phase, but I'll get two. Yeah. Black Whirlwind is actually an interesting card. Of course, it allows me to search a Black Wing monster from the deck to the hand with an attack lower, but there are some apparent weaknesses to Black Whirlwind. Of course, as most of you guys know, if a card destroys Black Whirlwind before I can resolve its effect, I won't be able to search. But another weak point of Black Whirlwind is if the monster is no longer face up on the field, I also won't be able to search. Meaning that getting rid of the Black Wing monster or flipping it face down is a valuable resource to be able to stop Black Whirlwind, but I got my ways. We are going to be normal summoning like crazy. Yeah. And then I will normal summon a Black Wing monster that you've probably never seen because it's from the new Dark Wing Blast set. I will normal summon Sudri the... <sighs> Sudri, the phantom glimmering, glamoring guy, okay? All right? <laughs> All right. Because I normal summoned a monster to my side of the field, Black Whirlwinds will activate as Chain Link 3 and Chain Link 2, respectively. I'll use my Sudri as Chain Link 1 to protect it from cards like Ash Blossom and Choice Spring. Okay. So, um, since one of the Black Whirlwinds is one of the last things to activate, I'm going to Ghost Over the Snow Rabbit, but... As you've already normal summoned, I'm also going to use Sherrod Kuzai to Secro summon as well. Okay, so we'll resolve chains backwards. Yes. I'm one, two, three. My Sudri and two Black Whirlwinds. Four. Your four would go still. And then and five. five. Okay, so resolving backwards, you Synchro summon first. Yep. I will Synchro summon into Amazing Dragon. Okay, then, then Ghost, Ghost Ogre, Ogre would destroy one of my Black Whirlwinds. And then Black you... Whirlwind is no longer face up on the field to be yep. able to search a Black Wing. Black Whirlwind number... Two. two. One? Two. One? Notice that this chain link two though. Yeah. <laughs> black whirlwind chain link two will allow me to search a wing beast with or a black wing monster lower than Sudri. Yes. From my deck to my hand. My monster of choice. Ooh, I am gonna add a Vata. You won't believe what I saw. You'll learn more Snoop about Doggy him. Dog with the <laughs> trunk of his car. <laughs> I'm glad you got it. And then Sudri allows me to add a monster that lists Black Wing Dragon in our card that lists Black Wing Dragon in yes. its text. I'm gonna add my boy, my dog. We play basketball together, Jamal, <laughs> from my deck to my hand. Oh, now, man. in a new chain, we can potentially activate new effects. Do you have any effects? Because I am gonna pass priority to you. Yes, since you have already normal summoned, I don't believe that you can have much to follow up with. I'm going to use Amazing Dragon to bounce all these cards back to your hand, as I do have more than enough level three psychic monsters in my graveyard oh. to bounce it. The reason why I used Amazing Dragon here is because Black Wings can't normally follow up if you stop their normal summon. Black Wing monsters also need another Black Wing monster on the board to be able to special summon themselves. And with no Black Wing monster on the board, I think it's my turn. That's a powerful card, my guy. And you still have a bar on the floor to be able to negate a card. Yes. Well, I am going to activate a card <laughs> to make him mine. I'm going to activate Triple Tactics Talent. What this card does is when you activate a monster effect during my main phase, which you have done, I can use one of the three effects. I can look at your hand, take a monster, or draw two cards. I'm choosing to take a monster. Bar on the floor will be mine. Well... 
First, it doesn't target. Secondly, I'm going to negate with Bronda on the floor. And thirdly, I forgot to draw with my Sharakuzai, but nor here nor there. You know, I, you know, I think you need it. I'll let you get that draw with that Sharakuzai. It should actually be, that would have been bounce and that would have been drawn any yes. order that you want. That's perfectly yes. fine. I think that it's only in competitive spirit I let you get to your best of your abilities. So no one in the comment section will talk about how Black Wings didn't crush you. <laughs> so since bar on the floor has already used its effect, I am actually gonna follow up with another normal summon. <laughs> but you've already normal summoned. I know. First, I'm gonna activate Black Whirlwind that you previously returned to my hand. And then I'm gonna activate Blackwing Samoon, the Poison Wind. Now, Blackwing Samoon, the Poison Wind allows me to banish one Blackwing monster in my hand, then place one Black Whirlwind from my deck to my side of the field. And finally, it allows me to normal summon itself to the side of the field or send it to the graveyard. Of course, I'm normal summoning the Samoon here. You remember when I said normal summoning like crazy? There's actually three different types of normal summoning in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. One of them is your normal, normal summon. Of course, you already know, you can only gain that normal summon once per turn, but then I like to call this one a special normal summon. This particular normal summon is an effect that allows you to normal summon outside of using your normal summon your original normal summon. You following me? And then there's the third type of normal summon. These aren't necessarily activated effects. They are normal summons that apply while the card is on the field to give you an additional normal summon. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can use all of these normal summons in the same turn, giving you three plus normal summons and allowing you to trigger cards like Black Whirlwind multiple times. All right. So that is my second normal summon for the turn. Yes. And since I did normal summon, well, looks what's going to happen here. I have two black whirlwinds and I will use both of their effects to add monsters from my deck to my hand with attack lower than my black whirlwind. I am going to add a Chinook the Snow Beast and I will also add <laughs> the Glizzy and Glamoring Sudri. The who? The Glizzy and Glamour and Zudri. The Glizzying? The Glizzy and... He likes hot dogs, dog. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't let him be great. Mm -hmm. Let him be great. The Glizzy Glopper. <laughs> I did not say that. You said that. I will then... <laughs> I'm sorry, my guy. It's been a long time. But I'm going to use the effect of Jamal. I am going to discard him from the hand to the graveyard. His name is Shamal. Shamal, Jamal. They're all alike, dog. Look, they all play basketball, shoot, steal, and dribble, okay? With Jamal... <laughs> <laughs> what Jamal allows me to do is place a new type of Black Whirlwind to my side of the field. It's going to be Black Feather Whirlwind. Now, this card actually is a little bit more dangerous. I thought you were going to hit me with the Britney note and go, it's going to be me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll figure out the effects of our Black Feather Whirlwind soon, but I am going to let you see another monster that you've seen previously. Vato, you won't believe what I saw. He can be summoned to the side of the field while I control the black wing. Yes. And now I'm going to be using his effect. You can use the reverse Veyu. The reverse Veyu? Well, yeah. I mean, you pretty much said what it is. It allows me to synchro summon from my deck. That's not branded fusion. That is definitely branded fusion. That is an Aluga right there, my guy. It is going to allow me to <clears throat> synchro summon. Oh, drop the card really quick. With my black wing Zephros and... I'm going to use Chinook from my deck to Synchro Summon a dangerous monster, my guy. Are you ready for one of the most dangerous cards in Blackwing's arsenal? I hope so. Yeah, so be fearful of Blackwing Dragon. You said powerful. Yeah. Not mediocre at best. Bro, would you really talk about Blackwing Dragon? Crow's ace card? Yes. Wow, okay, I'm gonna make you eat those words. Black Winged Dragon. <laughs> Ironically, he pulled a Starlight Rare copy, so I don't know why he even capping against the dragon is powerful. Black Winged Dragon may seem like a really simple card, but soon you will realize how powerful this card can be to make a Black Winged board. Because I summoned Black Winged Dragon to my side of the field, Black Feather Whirlwind will then trigger. It allows me to special summon a Black Winged Monster anytime I summon a Black Winged Synchro or Dark Synchro Monster to my side of the field. My monster of choice will be back to the Vata, you won't believe what I saw. And then I will activate the effect of In My Graveyard. You should know what this card does. My Black Winged Zephyros. We, I, 
Most older players do know this. It bounces a card, you take 400 damage, and you get to special summon it, but once per duel. Well, you might be partially right. I will return my Black Feather Whirlwind to my hand to summon my Zephyros, but because Black Wind Dragon is on the field, I don't take any damage. It just gets a counter in reduction of attack. Well, you get to finally utilize its effect. Okay, well, you, you're, you're, you, you're very mean, okay? I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm summoning. Yeah. I'm, I'm working here, okay? We working here. I'm working yeah. here. I'm then going to activate my Black Feather Whirlwind again, and you may be looking at me a little crazy, like, why did I do that? You'll see in just one second. I will then conduct another Synchro Summon with Vato, you won't believe what I saw, and my Black Wing Zephyros into my Nathunk. <laughs> There are a couple of things that may seem really, really strange to an average duelist that are about to happen. The first thing is that Nathung will not only burn you for 800 damage, it also allows me to normal summon yet again. The second thing, Black Feather Whirlwind will then trigger because it is a once per turn, but it's not what we like to call a hard once per turn, meaning that as long as this card is reset, flip face down, flip face up, add it to my hand and placed again, I can activate its effects yet again to special summon a black winged monster to my side of the field. So if I got this correctly, you're going to get a special summon from Black Feather Whirlwind, and you're going to burn me for an 800 more damage, leaving me with 3,200 life points lost at 4,800 life points. Correct, Amundo! How'd you know? This doesn't seem so bad. The lower my life points are, the more attack one of my most powerful synchro monsters in this strategy will get. Psychic and Punisher will have more attack than anything Kali can make. As long as my life points are lower than my opponent's, Psychic and Punisher is unaffected by activated effects, which means, what is he gonna do? If Kali can't make a board, I will bring the end by decimating this game. How'd you know? And normally, all these times that I be taking damage, don't worry, Black Feather Drag, Black Wing Dragon got me. Black Feather Dragon? Black Winged Dragon God. Judge! <laughs> so I'm gonna summon Vato, you won't believe what I saw, and then as my normal summon for the third time, I will normal summon Sudri back to my side of the field, and you won't believe something about him. He is also not once per turn. <laughs> Konami, you did it with Dark Worlds. Now Black Wings? Hey, bro! Chain Link 1 is gonna be my Sudri to search a card with Black Feather Dragon in his text. Chain Link 2 is gonna be Black Whirlwind. Chain Link 3 is gonna be Black Whirlwind. I know you like those cards, right? Where's my Ghost Joker when I need it? <laughs> with that, I will be able to search a Gale the Whirlwind, and then I'll also be able to search an Oroshi the Squall, and finishing up with my Sudri, I will search from my decks to my hand. You won't believe it. Another Black Feather Whirlwind because it isn't once per turn. I will then activate my Black Feather Whirlwind to my side of the field and I am going to continue to Synchro Summon. With my Sudri and my Vato, you won't believe what I saw, we're going to Synchro Summon into the new Blackwing Berea Storm the Wicked Wind. Now I'll trigger both the effect of Black Feather Whirlwind and my Berea Storm here. Black Feather Whirlwind will allow me to special summon Eh, we're gonna go ahead and special summon Sudri back to our side of the field. And Borea Storm will allow me to send a Blackwing monster and manipulate its level to the monster that I sent. Yep. Are you perfectly fine with this? Yeah, it doesn't seem so bad so far. <laughs> Keep in mind, Blackwing Dragon is only at 1400 life points because- Life I, points? I, attack oh, wow. points. Because I did take damage with this, I believe. No, actually, I did. I took damage somewhere else, I think. Just My the Zephyros. Editor, you figure out where I took damage again, because damage was taken somewhere, I believe, okay? So we will manipulate our Berea Storm to a level four here, and then we're conducting another Synchro Summit. I will use my Berea Storm and my Simoon for a Synchro Summon into 10. Are you ready for an oldie but goldie? We are gonna Synchro Summon into a Blackwing Full Armor Master. If that's Full Armor Master, what does that make Armor Master? Doesn't that make him half? Okay, all right, all right, hear me out. Armor Master is a full. Mm -hmm. Blackwing Armor Master is 2,500 attack. Mm -hmm. So would he be like eight, seven out of eight quarters? Three armor fourths? Master? Three fourths armor? 
Look, man, I did, I did not. I did, I don't do well with fractions. Okay, so I didn't pass geometry. I just know keys and eights and ounces. All right, that's you know, all keys, I know. Eights and ounces. Yeah, I, that well, sounds like geography to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know that. I know you know that. We're going to go ahead and see goes up into Blackwing Full Armor Master, my friend. And then, because I control a Blackwing monster, I will special summon Oroshi the Squall. Now I'm going to have to stop you here, big dog. Mm -hmm. And now, since you've definitely summoned more than five times. Oh, definitely. I'm going to go ahead and act the... You may continue. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, he had a Nibiru? He had a Nibiru? Oh, my God. And he waited to the Orochi. I can't even switch the Nibiru to attack. I will special summon the Orochi to my side of the field and use my Blackwing Dragon and my Orochi for a Synchro Summon into my Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Is, is that the right one? Hot Red Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep. I, I'm there's trying. so many hot red arch fiends doing things. Dog, I'm yeah. just trying to win right here and right now, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I am then going to go ahead and use the effect of my Oroshi the Squall to switch your better on the floor to attack position. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know why I did that. Because I wanted you to switch the monster to attack. I was a little lazy. Uh, I'm going to use the effect of my Blackwing Oscar to place a Black Feather counter, a Wedge counter. Place a Wedge counter on your Baron on the floor. And then I'll use the effect of my Full Arm Master to take control of your Baron. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even done here, big dog. It's not the Baron. Oh, dang. <laughs> I was, I, I was goofy. You. I was trying to dupe you. <laughs> Lastly, I am going to special summon my Blackwing Gale of the Whirlwind, and then I'm going to Synchro Summon with my Gale and my glittering, Glamoring Glizzy, Glizzy Gobbler <laughs> into my Chidori. And then since you mocked Blackwing Dragon, because I have a Blackwing Dragon in my graveyard, as well as a Synchro Tuner, I will banish both of those cards from my graveyard to be able to summon Black Winged Assault Dragon, my guy. This is what happens when you go against Black Wings. Well, I gotta give it to you. This is still a terrible deck, but you pulled it off. What do you mean, bro? This, this is this is annihilation. I'm going in a battle phase. Had you not had some moon, you'd had no other play. Okay, you're not wrong. Battle phase, though. I am going nope. to. <laughs> all right, all right, because I wasn't going to pick up my cards and let you say that you won. No, mm -hmm. I, I know how petty you get. Mm -hmm. I know how petty you get. I would have took it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How did he get through all of that? Black Wings are definitely a deck to watch out for because they are really, really strong. And I have to commend Kali because he piloted them amazing. It is always great to be on the channel and I am excited to be on future videos. I can't wait to see you guys on the next duel challenge. They say, uh, I killed two birds with one stone this time around. So, uh, ha, ha. You already know I did it with my raven wing sleeve so you can eat crow, TJ, and next time you try to go against me because the bird is normally the word. But that was an incredibly awesome game. TJ really had me on the ropes because I know how powerful his punk deck can be. Of course, until the next duel challenge, which we will have next Friday, you can go ahead and check out these other duel challenges. Check them out right now because they are awesome videos.